Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 6th of June. Uh, very briefly in our members area for the Wave5 Trade Signals membership. Our members get potential long and short fifth wave trades every day on a downloadable spreadsheet on the weekly, the daily and the six minute time frame. Also they get our new potential stochastic long trades and stochastic short trades on intraday time frames. So today I'm going to look at potential short trades in the members area here on the short trades. Click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today. Uh, on the 60 minute potential shorts, uh, quite a big list there. Uh, these are potential shorts on the 60 minute for that fifth wave move, which is the highest probability move in a trend. So I'm going to look at one of these IPG I've chosen on the 60 minute chart. Let's have a look at that. So this is IPG. I'm using the uh, Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 version uh, it's also available for thinkorswim trade station and multi charts so for our members that have our earlier wave indicator suite i've isolated the wave count up here around about may the 11th as we can see we've got the abc corrections and then we get the big move down to the wave one our Elliott wave indicator suite automatically labels those Elliott waves so let's zoom in and look at closely at this just a reminder, and for those that are new, uh, our data that we send out every day on these signals has some filters on there, some basic filters. Uh, the first filter we'll start at the bottom is the stochastic has crossed over in the overbought zone here against the main trend. You can see the main trend with the yellow dots here is bearish. Lots of false breakouts there on this stochastic, denoting a very strong bearish momentum there. And then we've pulled back against there into the overbought zone. And the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bearish trend. Also on the filters, we've got our 535 oscillator crowned and pulled between 90 and 140% on this wave 4 pullback. And then the wave 4 pullback itself is part of that uh, data filtration. Um, in this case, it's found resistance in our red zone. That red zone represents a probability, a probability zone of 75%. It's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zone down here around about $22.10. Uh, the amber zone, if it finds uh, resistance in there, be 80 and then the green is 85%. So let's have a look at the setup for this trade, get the stop loss and the entry sorted out. So zooming in here, we can see we've got the stop loss just above the wave four high there. So yesterday we did get the high and it pulled off a couple of, um, a couple of candles down before the end. And we're looking for that to continue today. So our stop loss is at 22.89. And then our entry, we used our 6.4 moving average low here for, for our entry. It's part of our eight wave indicator suite, but that's just the starting point. We have to look at previous price action. And we look at the most recent support or rejection level for this move back down to the main trend. Uh, so we've gone for an entry at 22.64 on this potential short on IPG. So that risk to reward is one to two just inside our target zone. Really, in reality, that's probably a one to 2.5, something like that. So really great risk reward for this potential short while still remaining quite conservative on that entry there. So we've got to make sure we're well on our way and the momentum's building back towards this main bearish trend. So that's it for today. A potential short trade on IPG on the 60 minute trading that fifth wave. Have a great training day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.